This is going to be a video about one of my Cadillacs that uh, has a uh, leaking roof. Uh, it was raining earlier today, now it isn't. And um, I noticed that my footwell, my passenger side footwell, had water in it too. And uh, I know you were thinking that it was coolant, but it's not coolant. If it was, it would be obvious. A, it would be red and it would stain your carpet. B, it would smell like it was coolant. And C, if you're into that, you could taste that it would taste sweet because coolant tastes sweet. But uh, I don't recommend that. The, the point is, you would see it, you would smell it, it would be obvious it's coolant. Um, if you have water in your foot wells or in your back seats or anywhere and your car has a sunroof, keyword here is it has a sunroof, it's probably a leaky sunroof. Uh, either from your drains and it's overflowing or from other design flaws that GM builds into everything that they make. So, so let me get into the car and show you how to fix it. So, alright, so in the car, your sunroof has four drains in each of the corners. The one that's leaking on me, sorry for the camera shake, the one that's leaking on me is my passenger side front drain. You see the hole for it here where my finger is right at the end there. See that little lip coming off of this black structure? This is the frame for the sunroof. Right in the front there is the forward sunroof drain and that normally has a hose plugging into it. This hose specifically which I took off and that's uh, it goes up through your A-pillar like that and it plugs into the drain uh, on your sunroof frame right here. And it funnels water down from your sunroof. Because your sunroof is basically a hole in your roof. And water falls into that hole and drains, carry it away so it doesn't leak into your car. Uh, you, all you gotta do to pull the drains off to see if they're clogged is you just pull them. I don't think, I, I mean this is just my car but they weren't attached by any special clamps or screws or anything. It's just literally friction. It's just like a barb and hose. So you just pull them out and um, you could push them in and they'll still be watertight. For me, uh, mine was pretty clogged up. I, you can unclog them by just blowing air through them with like either your mouth. Or for me, mine was pretty clogged so I have a shock vac over there that I uh, shoved this inside of the hose and I actually sucked through it and I pulled up some bits of leaves and stuff that were ruining it, so that's annoying. Uh, so. Once you unclog it, it'll drain better, but for me, I was still leaking, so I don't know if you remember in my comment, I said pour water into your sunroof uh, drains. You see the sunroof up here, this is the track where the, uh, where the glass right here slides back and forth. These, these also double as drains, and these drains funnel the water forward or backwards to these little hoses that I was telling you about. And all along the way, you see underneath, there's a whole bunch of little seams and other BS for the water to leak out of. I already fixed my back sunroof drain area. As you can see, I flooded everything with glue there and there. These little holes that were leaking, I flooded them with glue and that fixed it. And I also did it on the other side too, see it over there. And that fixed the back and the front is leaking too. So in the front, the main problem where it's just gushing out of is this little piece right here. This is a hole. On my sunroof, I have this stupid little air brake at the top here. Er, not air brake, air diffuser. So when the sunroof is open, it doesn't flood the inside of the car with air. You see it, it, this is the thing that springs back and forth when the glass moves back and forth. You see it has these springs that go over here to these holes. Now you see if I shake it, back and forth, you'll see this moving. I don't know if you could see through there, or if I could wave my hand under it, but that hole, oh, my camera isn't focusing, there it goes. But that hole right there, right there where the thing is shaking in, that is literally the inside of the car on the other side of the sunroof vent, uh, on the other side of the sunroof drain. This is, so water is going through here and it's gushing and you could see this black stuff. It looks like GM put like this grease or something there to plug the hole, but you know, grease dries up and wears out over time, and when it does, you're screwed. So I'm shaking it here, and I'll go back into the car, and you'll see, underneath, I'll shake it again, see it moving? That's shaking too. 
and water is pouring out of this hole. It's hitting my headliner. It's because of the shape of the headliner. It's running down the A-pillar, down through the dash, and it's accumulating in a puddle down here at the bottom of the footwell. So to fix it, obviously I unplugged my drain, but I'm also going to flood that with glue. I know I said in my comment to use PL5200, but my Home Depot was out of it. It doesn't really matter. So I got Loctite, this Loctite adhesive. Sorry about that. My uh, camera just weirdly cut out for a second. Anyway, it's back now. Uh, I think I may have hit the wrong button. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, my Home Depot was out of PL5200, which is ideal. But they also have this Loctite Marine adhesive sealant. If you're gonna glue and fix up your sunroof, don't just use caulk, because it can't, it, it, it doesn't stick to anything by itself. It's not really flexible. And over time, and especially with the vibrations, your car, you know, just happens from just running and driving over the road and stuff. It's gonna break down and your roof is gonna leak again. If you use a nice marine adhesive sealant, it's flexible, it doesn't break with vibration. Um, it, it, it expands and flexes, so when your car does the same thing, it's not gonna break. And it's permanent, and it's, and it's, it's a really good product. You'll see on the back, I don't know, Marine Fast Cure Adhesive Sealant. Uh, right, nope, it's in the front. So here we go on the thing. It's watertight. On boats, it could be used above or below the water line. It's flexible, and in my case, it cures in 24 hours, which is important because it's going to be raining by that time. So that's good. And, um, oh yeah, so the gist of it is use marine adhesive sealant. It's designed for way more harsh environments than this. It's not going to break down. It's not going to screw you up. Buy this. Any marine adhesive sealant is what you want to use to fix your car. And that's pretty much it. Uh, taking your headliner down, you don't have to take it all down, just enough to expose your sunroof frame so you get a, a finger in there to smear the glue around. That, that's pretty much it. And taking this off is as easy as looking for things that go through it and unscrewing them. So in my case, this was the, um, the, the visor. Just four little screws right there. Uh, the A-pillar, this thing right here, you just pull it off. It just uses clips, not screws. You're not going to hurt it by pulling it off. That's what it's designed to do. Um, this little uh, border for the sun visor just unclips and pulls off very easily right out of like, there's, there's little clip holders for it here. You just pull them out and this thing drops right down. And to get the extra flexibility, my handle, which, is, which normally goes here, you take off little covers, pull the bolts out, and you're free. And that'll give you more than enough space to get in there and um, service your your sunroof frame. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this video was informative. And uh, good luck fixing your Cadillacs.